The destructive power of Hurricane Dorian made it clear that homes in the Bahamas must be built to meet the challenge of withstanding the worst storm conditions imaginable. If homes are rebuilt to meet the Bahamas building code, they will be stronger, safer, and last much longer. In the rush of construction happening in the months and years after the storm, there may be construction deficiencies as we can see in the following two clips of foundation works due to the lack of time, the lack of proper materials, or even the lack of knowledge. This series of videos will help homeowners and builders make better decisions about construction so that families can return to their homes with confidence. In most cases, rebuilding after Dorian does require a permit, but now the process is free for Abaco and Grand Bahama. Obtaining a permit means that your home will comply with safety and health standards and will be of quality construction. The process is very simple, and the building control office can walk you through without cost. To ensure that the home will be safe and up to code, please request that the Ministry of Works inspects different stages of construction. Begin with the foundation to ensure proper form work and steel placement. If building a concrete wall house, Make sure to get the columns and belt beams inspected before concrete is poured. If building a wood house, make sure to get the wood framed walls inspected for proper framing as well as the proper connections and tie downs. Make sure to get your roof inspected before the ceiling is installed. This is important to make sure the roof can withstand extreme hurricane winds. Request a plumbing inspection at the rough in stage so that work does not need to be dismantled and redone properly. Electrical work must be done by a licensed electrician who will request inspections at both the rough in stage and the final stage. The inspector must be able to see the wiring inside the walls and ceilings, junction boxes, electrical panels and outlets. The work must comply with the electrical code before approval is given to proceed with construction. Finally, the Ministry of Works will prepare an occupancy certificate. The next videos in this series will address some common techniques and problems for the homeowner to monitor and the construction worker to improve on. Making sure that your home has quality construction and is up to code is the best way to ensure that your building survive the next storm and that your family is safe. Please see your local building control officer for more information and help. To help homeowners and builders, we've developed the Build Back Better Manual and made it free to everyone. This elegant guide to the Bahamas Building Code provides clear instructions and illustrations for building a typical single-story home to ensure resilience against future hurricanes and storm surges. Please look in the video description for the link to download your digital copy or the locations where you can pick up a physical manual.